It's Monday McGuire Day. Ha ha, I was able to say it. Spider-Man 3, Tobey Maguire plot details revealed. Topher Grace is gonna show up as Venom. There's a Sandman, they're gonna have too many villains crammed into one. Harry Osborn's gonna die at the end, sacrificing himself. He has a whole character arc. There, I gave all the plot details away. Ah, oh, spoilers. <laughs> The comedy is constantly gold around God. here. Never stops mining the gold. Mm -hmm. We're watching Cosmic Wonders video, let's do it. How's it going, everybody? It's, it's Warren. Welcome back to the channel. Oh, almost Wonder, on my channel. Things Marvel and everything. Dude, related. if you're gonna take over for Warren someday, you're gonna have to know this. But it's Saturday night, and we got some pretty big news. Now, the past few days have been absolutely insane for Marvel and Star Wars fans. At Disney's Investor Day, they revealed a ton of new Marvel projects. But they didn't talk squat about Spider-Man. So a lot not of the talk all. recently has been about these new projects. But let's not forget about one of the most exciting exciting things happening right now and that is Spider-Man 3. And today thanks to an exclusive report from FandomWire.com we have some new details about the film and about Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness <laughs> both involving Tobey Maguire. Before we dive into it be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on MCU news and so you can enter this week's giveaway for a chance to win a Tony Stark Quantum Suit Funko Pop. I'm picking a winner next Friday. That's look cool. So as expected <laughs> it appears that Tobey Maguire's role in Spider-Man 3 is not just going to be for a quick role. His time in the MCU isn't just going to be in Spider-Man 3, but he is in fact going to go on to be in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of What? Wow. Because <laughs> a new from Maguire, Spider-Man, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man that is, isn't just going to pop up in Spider-Man 3 and maybe make a quick Dude. In Dude. But he'll actually have an important role in what's happening. He's the Nick in the Fury of Phase now, 5. The day, I Biden said, did they, were they able to get him back because Sam Raimi's directing? Yeah. He will connect to Spider-Man 3 and Spider-Man 3. Oh! And will connect that has to, to happen Strange because of that. Of madness. And we can already see how. Wanda is going to be in Doctor Strange 2 and Doctor Strange is going to be in Spider-Man 3. And this new report from Fandom Wire gives us a little bit more information. In their report, they say Say they can exclusively reveal that Tobey Maguire Spider-Man will have a role to play in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Tobey Maguire will of course have a role in the third Spider-Man film, but his role doesn't stop there. And they issue a spoiler warning, so I will issue the same if you don't want to know anything about it, click away now. They go on to say, both WandaVision <laughs> and the third Spider-Man movie are going to deal with the reality warping and multiverse shenanigans. And of course, this is already confirmed, but they say, due to the fabric of reality being disrupted in WandaVision, it's going to be in need of some fixing. The MCU's third Spider-Man <laughs> flick will deal with the fallout. However, the problem won't be solved until Doctor Strange 2, and it'll be up to Stephen Strange to help out Wanda, but he won't be alone. According to Fandom Wire, Tobey Maguire is going to be helping oh. Doctor Strange. <laughs> Now, Toby Maguire Dude, that is going to nuts. come from another reality, and perhaps he can't get back to his own reality until our main MCU timeline and universe has been. Oh, that is off. really so insane! Of the are going to somehow be colliding. It doesn't actually yeah. seem like Doctor Strange is going to open portals to these other universes, but the problem may actually be universes colliding into each other oh. for some reason. Whatever that. Oh, I be, love this for so many reasons. <laughs> because of Wanda, we don't know yet, but we do know that it's going to be up to Doctor Strange to fix it. And now, apparently, Tobey Maguire is going to be sticking around after Spider-Man 3 and is going to be helping Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Super <laughs> exciting news, so let me know how excited you are about this in the comments down below. Don't forget to like oh, the video. Oh, I, I have so many loving thoughts about this. MCU news. For live updates, you can follow me. And I'm going to share none Twitter. of them with you. <laughs> I'm just going to talk about my one nitpick. Woof, woof. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Warren, for reporting on that, buddy. You know, lately, oh, yeah. a lot of the shit that's been reported on from your channel <laughs> in the last year has come to fruition. It's been pretty accurate. So trusting pretty brownie point. points for the guy has only elevated. Let's talk about some of this. So yeah, we made jokes in the past about how maybe they were able to court Tobey Maguire into coming in by getting Sam Raimi for Doctor Strange and considering that Doctor Strange is gonna be in Spider-Man 3, maybe there was some type of talk and some leeway help from Sam Raimi on his end that was just one theory floating around. And one thing I've always wanted is for Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man, specifically his, let's face it, I think most of us care way more about that <laughs> properly concluding than Andrew Garfield's. And the reason I wanted his to conclude is because Spider-Man 1 and 2 are freaking incredible. And Spider-Man 3, not so great. Uh, 2004? <laughs> 5? <Six or> <laughs> I forget the year. It doesn't matter. So yeah, that, that version was not that great. I've wanted him to have a proper conclusion and we didn't get 
that Spider-Man 4. And I thought, okay, so maybe with this new Spider-Man 3 movie with Tobey Maguire coming in, he might be able to get that conclusion that we've all been wanted, even if it's just like 10 minutes of screen time, if they managed to put some good final chapter on it, that would be great. But there was always this part in me that was going, I wish Sam Raimi was directing it though. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah, always yeah, this course, part of me yeah. that was going, I wish it was Sam Raimi to have been behind the camera to capture Tobey Maguire. <laughs> the fact that Sam Raimi, they're already filming, I think, ugh, I forget what they said on Disney Investor Day, but I think they're already filming um, Multiverse of Madness. Sam Raimi directing that, and if Tobey Maguire gets to be in it, that even makes the whole contract negotiation sound mm -hmm. that much bigger. The whole thing with how it was hard getting Tobey to sign on because he wanted a lot of money. But I'm like, well, if you want him to appear in two movies versus one, it's going to be a big deal. Well, it's going to be, be a big contract. <laughs> yeah, and that'll be two movies with the option of more, depending on how successful this mm -hmm. is, I am sure. So yeah, I'm sure there's a lot of like protracted long-term stuff to suss out. I mean, this sounds like an awesome idea because it also marks to me maybe this kind of turning point where now that Marvel has, yeah, done their big slam dunk of just setting up the universe, now it's like on their map massive scale, they can start experimenting in ways that are probably mm -hmm. assured to at least attract people's attention. And yeah, I like this idea of introducing him in Spider-Man 3. You know, it still has to have an individual story that wraps up, but the concept of, you know, the stakes of Spider-Man 3 will then carry over into Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness, all brought mm -hmm. on by WandaVision. That's Marks, a new through line. It's a crazy new through it's line like to follow. It's like serial movies in a whole other way. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I mean, to deal with the, I, I for some reason, I'm, I was hearing like, oh, it's gonna like lead into this and lead into that, but I'm like, oh crap. For some reason, my mind didn't really register the amount of damage of mind bending, warp bending reality scenarios of how much that's gonna mess up everything within the MCU <laughs> yeah. and how that's going to lead over from a, sh a series to really explore and kind of understand it, lead into Spider-Man and lead into Doctor Strange, I think is a, a really cool new through line to follow. <laughs> it's experimental and I think it's cool that you'll get like Doctor Strange and Spider-Man 3 and then you'll get a different Spider-Man and Doctor Strange so it doesn't feel repetitive and you can really get some strong earmarks of the differences if this is true. It sounds likely and it's something I would really want uh, yeah. for story purposes and also with the nostalgia factor of Tobey Maguire and Sam Raimi getting an opportunity Absolutely. to truly reunite. Major reason why. And it, it would also make more sense. Yeah, I think when I'm thinking about the contract, it was like, what was making him sign? Uh, such a difficult time signing on. I mean, even if it was just Spider-Man 3, it mm -hmm. makes sense. If you want it for two movies, and especially one where he sounds more like a pivotal role. Yeah. One that sounds like a lot more focused. Somewhat significant and, and a marker of the stakes at hand. If they're going to have like multi, like universes colliding with each other. Yeah. Uh, whatever they list the Earth of Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man is from. Like if they call it like, Earth-02 or something, yeah, you yeah. know? <laughs> if the ending credits say, Spider-Man Earth-02 will return we'll in return. Doctor Strange, yeah. I'm like, oh man, that'd be oh. such a cool text to read. And now we're gonna have to catalog all our Spider-Men by Earth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's going to do that. We have to, yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, what do you think about the news of Spider-Man, uh, Tobey Maguire crossing over specifically into Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness? Leave your thoughts down below. Subscribe to Cosmic Wonder. Subscribe to us if you want. Click that notification bell. Hit that like button. And last but not least, Deontay W. Tongue Punch Fart Box, John wanted to shout you out. That's right, man. I just want, you know, when I hear your name, Tongue Punch Fart Box, every time, each part of it. Each part of the word shows up in those splashy, onomatopoeia comic book panels. You're a colorful personality. I always love seeing you in our live streams. You always got interesting takes, interesting movie picks, and uh, you're an agile cat, man. You could be kicking ass out there with Spider-Man, so uh, this video kind of made me think of you in that way, and I'm really happy to include you in our multiverse of the Reject Nation because in a whole other life you found a different channel and you don't even care about us. This shout out is going off road a little bit, but the important part is it's the holidays and I hope that you're doing well. I just wish you all the love and warmth of the season. <laughs> I don't know. I hope you're doing well, man. Be well. You know what you could have said? What? <laughs> you could have just said it's Christmas time. So I hope this Christmas you give everyone a box, a Christmas present box, and then you open it, and it's a tongue that farts, and then it punches you. <laughs> Boom. Instead and of can... whatever this ramble was, sorry, tongue punch fart box, you deserve quality.